everybody, it's Paige, and for today's video, I decided to do the 25 questions, the 25 get to know me questions that no one asks. I decided to do this because I felt like filming and I didn't really have anything else to film. I just filmed a blush tag, which will probably be up on my channel already a few videos back. I'll leave that link down below in case you're interested. But I do have a get to know me tag on my channel, but it's from like a while ago. So it's probably pretty embarrassing now. So don't go watch that. But I decided to do this now because I don't know there's different questions in here I'm pretty sure because I didn't do the questions no one asks before so yeah let's just get right on into it if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy also leave me a comment down below okay let's look for the questions oh here they are question one are you named after anyone I'm pretty sure that's this question was in the other one that I did um no I'm not named after anyone my middle name is my mom's first name but my first name Paige is not named after anyone number two when was the last time you cried um actually yesterday <laughs> it was the last time I cried I think yeah yesterday like night like i woke up from a dream crying which does not happen to me ever so yeah question number three do you have kids no i do not have kids i want kids one day but i don't have any now number four if you were another person would you be a friend of yourself um i would hope so but i'm a pretty shy person like in real life so i feel like I would be like too afraid to be friends with me. I don't know. That's like a weird question, but I would I would think so probably if like I had the opportunity to like meet myself. Mm. Okay, number five, do you use sarcasm a lot? I wouldn't say a lot, but I definitely use it sometimes, but I'm not like a very funny person. Like I'm not good at using sarcasm, so I don't use it very often because I end up just sounding stupid. Number six, what's the first thing you notice about people? Um, I don't know. The way they look when I see them. I don't know, actually. Or maybe like the sound of their voices. I'm very like, I like pick up on like different people's voices for some reason. That might be the first thing that I would notice. I don't know, I feel like that's a weird question. All of these questions seem so weird, okay. And I don't have good answers. Number seven, what is your eye color? Um, I would say bluish, greenish, bluish, grayish. I don't really know. Just somewhere on the lighter eye spectrum. Number eight, scary movie or happy endings? 100% happy endings. I hate scary movies. I went through a scary movie phase when I was like a freshman in high school, freshman, sophomore in high school, because my best friend was like obsessed with scary movies. So she made me obsessed, obsessed with scary movies, but not anymore. I literally hate them so much. I love happy endings. Like oh, they make me so happy. Number nine, favorite smells. Anything fruity besides grapefruit. I hate grapefruit. I love anything sugary, vanilla, and then I really like the smell of coffee too. Number 10, what's the furthest you've ever been from home? I went to Poland in 2015 and I live in Florida, so that's definitely the farthest that I've been from home. Number 11, do you have any special talents? No, I don't have any special talents, literally none. Oh, I can hula hoop. <gasps> that's not really a special talent though and I haven't hula hooped in like 10 years, but I was in my fourth grade talent show for hula hooping. I was pretty awesome. I won a hula hooping contest at the Hard Rock Hotel when I was in like third grade, which is at Universal Studios in Orlando. And then I decided to do the hula hoop for the talent show in fourth grade. There's actually a video of it on YouTube. How embarrassing. I did it to the song Ain't I Ain't in Shakota Anymore or whatever by Carrie Underwood. Ugh, I don't know, cringy. I might link it in the description box if you're lucky. Actually, no, you wouldn't be lucky to watch that, but anyways. Um, where were you born? I was born in Florida, born and raised. Number 13, what are your hobbies? I watch YouTube, I film YouTube videos, I do makeup, I shop, I go to school, I study, and... Those are pretty much all my hobbies. I listen to music, can that count as a hobby? 
Number 14, do you have any pets? Yes, I have four dogs, Bella, Buster, Zeus, Pepper. Yep. Uh, <laughs> number 15, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have a younger brother named Alex. He is two, year, two and a half years younger than me. Number 16, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I'm in nursing school right now, so I guess nurse would be the answer. But I'd also love to have YouTube be my career, guys. Help me out there. Um, but yeah, nurse is definitely my goal at the moment. Number 16, no, I just did number 16. Number 17, who was your first best friend? My first best friend, I don't really know. Probably this girl named Callie that I met like before I went to school, like before I was in kindergarten. She was probably my first best friend, but I haven't talked to her in, I, I honestly don't know the last time I talked to her. Um, number 18, how tall are you? How tall do you guys think I am? Leave a comment, pause the video, leave a comment before I answer and let me know how tall you think I am and then I'll answer it, okay? Are you ready? Did you comment? Okay, I am five foot eight, five foot seven, five foot eight, five foot seven, somewhere in there. I don't really know. I get told a different number every time I go to the doctor. But fun fact, I've been this height since I was in fifth grade, which is absolutely ridiculous. I was so freaking tall in elementary school and like early middle school. I was like the tallest kid in school. And then the boys started getting taller and then also some girls continued to grow but not me so now I'm kind of like slightly above average I feel like but pretty normal number 19 funniest moment throughout school hmm I don't know like nothing really funny happened well I don't know if this is funny, but it was kind of like looking back, it's funny, but at the time it was not funny. Um, it was like, I think I was a senior and we were at fast pitch softball tryouts and I was like helping the coach like throw fly balls um, to like the girls that were like lined up and I throw the ball. It was like, not like fly balls, but like, I don't know, kind of like, I don't know. Anyways, um, so I throw the ball because this girl's ready, she's looking right at me. I throw it to her. As I'm like releasing the ball, she like looks to the side because I don't know, I think someone was talking to her and I scream her name and then she turns back, boom, hits her in the mouth, knocks half of her tooth out and I was a mess. I was crying more than she was crying because I felt so horrible. Even though it wasn't my fault, but I threw the ball so I don't know that was pretty traumatic but like looking back it's kind of funny and like ironic that of course something like that would happen to me like literally of course <sighs> okay moving on number 25 who are some of your favorite youtubers okay Shane Dawson Garrett Watts Tati James Charles Jeffree Star Manny Laura Lee, let me think, let me think. I also really like Christian Guzman, Nikki Blackheader, Heidi Summers, Lauren May Beauty, Lisa Stevens. Had to throw a couple of like not massively massive channels in there. I don't know, I like a lot of YouTubers. I watch a lot of YouTube, but those are probably like, those are the ones that come to my brain like first. Okay, number 26, how many boyfriends have you had? I've had three, but I'm currently single, yay! Okay, great. Number 27, favorite hood memory from childhood. I don't know, I had a pretty good childhood, so I have a lot of good memories. I don't really know. I, I, all of the, I, I have a lot of good memories. I'm trying to like think of like one really good one, but I don't know. Like going to my grandparents' house and like swimming in their pool back in the day. That was pretty fun. Whenever they would like fill up the pool, like it's like it was like a sloped pool because there was like a shallow end and a deep end. They'd put like a tarp out and like slide down into the water as it was filling up. That was fun. 
anyways, that's kind of boring. Um, number 28, this is not 25 questions, this is 30 questions. How would you describe your fashion sense? I would describe my fashion sense as a non-existent, which is pretty sad. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to get more into fashion and be more trendy and whatnot, but I kind of got into the habit of like wearing t-shirts and leggings and running shorts every single day of my life, so. I'm trying to get out of it though. I actually, my senior year, I got like the best dress superlative, which is like described to me then, I feel like, but not now at all, like literally at all. So I'm trying to get better, but um, yeah, right now it's kind of like not anywhere at all. Number 29, what phone do you have, iOS or Android? I have an iPhone 6S, which is pretty old phone now, but I just got it because it's like an insurance phone, but it's like, it's old, you know, it's new, but it's old. And number 30, tell us one of your bad habits. Well, I have a lot of bad habits, <sighs> but I would say one of them would be saying like, and um, and cracking my fingers and cleaning my room and letting it get messy and cleaning my room and letting it get messy and procrastinating and hitting the snooze button and shopping too much. Yeah, I've got a lot of bad habits, but anyways, that was the 30 get to know me questions that nobody asks, which I feel like those aren't questions that nobody asks, but that's what it was called. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, leave me a comment down below. I love you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.